see that fierce highlighting on my nose is not so Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video of how to clean your brushes because my brushes are fucking gross and they need to be washed. They should be washed. Your face, sh like your facial brushes should be washed every single day but because um, some of my brushes, they don't dry quick enough, I try and prolong it a few days but you probably should not wait more than a day or right after you use them on your face just to keep them clean and keep them good and yeah so this is my stash of brushes they're all from different different um, brands I got a unique one here I got one from Walmart it says spare source on it um, spa essentials or still essentials from uh, Walmart and then I have one e.l.f. brush. So how's your weekend going? Mine's going fan-fucking-tabulous. I can't wait for Walking Dead to come back on. I miss Walking Dead so much. It's Walking Dead Sunday and there's no Walking Dead on. <sighs> Such a shame. So what you're gonna need is... You're gonna need just like a, some sort of cup with um, some tissue or uh, it's better to use paper towel but I just had tissue up here. So you're going to need something like this. Your brushes. Towel, which is underneath the brush. And some Dawn dish soap. A lot of people are telling other people to use um, oil, like uh, virgin olive oil. But I don't have any of that on me right now. And a lot of these are like uh, fake. There's, they're not real like hair or anything. So I think they'll be fine. I'll try that out in a different video for you guys. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your water. It's gotta be on the warmer side. Not too too hot. Your hand. Bit of soup. Put the water in your hand. Like that. And just place it in your palm of your hand. You can feel a gross dirt and shit come off the You know what nasty gross shit. Wash it off. <coughs> Excuse me. Wash it off. So there's no more residue left on the brush. Looks a lot more whiter than what it did when like before I washed it. Clean and good as new. Now, um, what I was told, well, from here on YouTube, is you should be placing your brushes face down, letting gravity suck the moisture from the top so that the glue that's holding all the hairs together doesn't come apart, so this part doesn't separate from the hairs. So you just place it face down like that, and you leave it to dry. Don't you love my phone case? Again, and you see the foundation coming off the brush. <laughs> oh, are you supposed to swirl in your hand? Look at all this shit coming off the brush. Yuck. Isn't that just fucking sick? Look at my brushes. And So ultimately in the end you want it to look like this and you don't want the brushes to be pushed down on when it's actually in the jar because you don't want it to wreck your bristles. Sorry for the fan in the bathroom. We have like a noisy loud fan in both our bathrooms so that's why I tend to not film inside the bathrooms as much because it is really really noisy. So yeah, beautiful. It's been uh, like I'll say about an hour to two hours after and there's still moisture collecting the bottom. See this is, see that red down there? That's from my e.l.f. Um, contouring brush. Still quite wet, but they look pretty well brand new to me. Brand spanking new.
But yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you all for joining me on how to clean your brushes. I'm pretty sure there's like probably 50 trillion billion videos out in the YouTube world on how to do it. But gotta start somewhere, right? Anyways, thank you all and I'll talk to you soon. I love you all. The wrapping game is pretty hard here right now. Just found a bunch of boxes for wrapping. I think that's the only part I don't like about Christmas is the wrapping part and yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys all later. Bye!